Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Horcrux here bringing you my first spell break video. Hopefully many, many more to come. Now, I am a pre-alpha tester for this game, but back in the day, it did not have controller support. Well, now it does. So, I'm back. I've been playing this game for about a week. And like many of you, I have no clue what's going on. And I'm going to share to you guys my top list of things that you need to know going into spell break. And I wish people really would have told me. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay guys, number one. So first of all, back in pre-alpha, we didn't have this whole talent system. Now each class has their own special ability. So you have a main hand gauntlet and you have an offhand gauntlet. Now, there are what are called talents. Talents are, you know, kind of passes and modifiers for your abilities. Like I said, this was not back in pre-alpha. So there is an unlockable tier list for these. So essentially, in order to unlock all talents, you have to get to level 6 on all the classes, which is really good because it kind of teaches you how to play them and how to play against them. So tip number one is definitely, definitely, definitely try out all the classes. It's going to save you a lot of heartache later because when I first started playing this game, I thought classes were completely OP. I thought Tempest was OP. I thought Condo was OP. I actually, I thought all the classes were OP because I wasn't playing them. Um, after playing the classes, you kind of learn the weaknesses, you know, the pros and cons of the class. But Squall level 3 is kind of broken, not going to lie next okay guys tip number two now there is friendly fire and team killing in this game and you can also kill yourself so it's very important for you to be mindful of your abilities for example if you're the pyromancer and you're up in someone's face and you're hitting them with fireballs well you're also hitting yourself check out your health in the bottom left hand corner so just be aware of that on to the next one all right tip number three Probably by far the most important you need to be aware of your surroundings and the pros and cons of your gauntlets for example if you play the stone shaper class you most of your abilities are ground based so you see this does not go up the terrain we go up here to the high ground do the exact same angle exact same ability it does go to low ground so depending on your gauntlet and your play style if you play the stone shaker or the toxicologist pyromancer you will be up close in your enemy's face so you need to center your build around being up close and sustained damage that's why i'm using the spring step here or dash rather so if you're going to play one of the classes like this you need to be up in their faces and you need to have a rune to kind of coincide with those abilities so on to the next one tip number four super sweet and simple your levitation is a percentage of your maximum magica not an additive amount for example it doesn't matter if you have no amulet or you have a gold amulet you're going to sustain flight for the exact same amount of time which is around two seconds Tip number five, very important, it's kind of an advanced mechanic, not really, you'll learn it as you go, is momentum is conserved for the most part. For example, I'm going to show you with the uh, the dash rune, go off this cliff here, here's where you land. Now if you are to glide, ride you come off, see how much further we went? Instead of right there, oh, that's a really bad example, instead of like right there, we're right here now. So just keep that in mind, this comes with a little bit of practice. Next. Okay, so the next tip is just completely skip the tutorial. You can do the tutorial if you like. You want more of a methodical process, but I'm a more of a hands-on guy. So the entire time what I did was go into Clash. I got to rank 6 on all the classes just so I know how to play them. And then I took my ass over to Battle Royale. And even with a little bit of practice, only about a week, I'm getting 11 between 11 and 20 kills in each battle royale game so clash is a really really good way to learn your abilities your limitations the skills counters pros and cons every class so clash is absolutely invaluable okay guys so tip number seven um, i actually didn't know this was here because it kind of frustrated me is you can actually change your gauntlets around um, if you go over to gameplay uh, if you're on controller now, of course, mouse and keyboard really doesn't matter. You can allocate your hotkeys anywhere. But if you are a controller, there's actually a option just for swapping the gauntlets, which is very, very beneficial. And in addition to this, if you go over to the controller settings and go to presets, you can actually swap your uh, abilities, like your, your bumpers and your triggers, around without having an elite controller. However, having an elite controller does help. Having paddles on the back helps exponentially with this game. If you guys still have a little bit of Christmas money or... You know, save a little bit of money from your job. I highly suggest getting a Leak 2 Series controller. They're phenomenal. And last, but certainly not least, this game is about having fun. 
it does not have a super high competitive scene yet but it will if you want a more advanced guide there's plenty of guys there's crashy there's a uh, apostle afk marcus or marcus a uh, aka apostle they have some really really great guys they've been really on the scene i highly recommend looking these guys up and giving them a follow uh those are who i watch uh crashy and uh marcus and apostle great guys great content creators and like i said it's all about having fun we go into clash a bunch of friends more the merrier you're there learning your class some classes are harder to play against than others but with a little bit of time and practice you can pretty much do anything in this game it's very very fun find something that suits your play style what you're going to have fun with i've only played this game for about a week and i've not had any more fun in any battle royale game ever mostly when i play battle royale games they're really stressful and sweaty this game not so much i can just go in and, and have fun yeah there's some frustrating moments but that is with any video game especially me having such a high competitive nature so thank you for watching this video if you really like it i know it's very vague but being a new player i'm kind of going through this the whole motions with you guys i'll keep you updated on anything that i learned or i think you guys should know in the future so please consider supporting the channel give me a like or sub there's patreons don't knows i'll be streaming this game uh, monday through friday usually 6 p.m and after because i do start a new work schedule come monday so the stream schedules are gonna be a little dicey but uh we'll see so thank you for watching and you guys have a great day thank you